While well, restrictions continue to be eased in L.A. County, shoppers can now go inside stores. But CBS 2's Rachel Kim shows us things will look a little different now. The owner of Stay Home Friends Shopping Gift Gallery in Burbank is making some changes to her store now that L.A. County officials have allowed retailers to reopen for in-person shopping beginning today. She wasn't ready to welcome back customers just yet, but is preparing now for a Saturday reopening. We were always kind of a, a smaller store and a ton of stuff to look at. We are going to be a much more spatial store probably fewer things to look at. Vernon says the shutdown to slow the spread of COVID-19 shut down her other store in Highland Park. She hopes her Burbank location will survive. I'm kind of excited that though it's scary to open your doors, but we're going to we're going to be use every precaution. All retail establishments, whether it's a store like this one or a store in the mall, have to adopt LA County's COVID-19 safety protocols. That includes social distancing, wearing masks, and operating at 50% capacity. One person at a time. We had already thought about like, how oh, can we do appointments? Um, so it'll be, it'll feel actually kind of more like that. Southland malls are also getting ready to welcome back in-store shoppers. Westfield Shopping Centers just announced they'll be reopening this weekend and next week with modified hours. The Glendale Galleria will be back to business tomorrow at 11 a.m. The Citadel outlets also reopens tomorrow with new physical distancing and safety measures. The Americana in Glendale was ready for shoppers today. Over at the Empire Center in Burbank, some major retailers were still closed and this woman found out the hard way. I came here to return my order but the shop is closed. Back at the Stay Home Friends Shopping Gift Gallery, Vernon is thankful her store is reopening but she knows she'll have to make adjustments to stay in business. It's just a different world and I don't think that, I don't think overnight it's going to be like, I don't know if it ever really will be like it was. Reporting in Burbank, Rachel Kim, CBS 2 News.